hi, hello, and howdy. It's me, Mushy, and you're, well, you're you, and we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for a whip and chit chat. We're going to be working on Raven Diamond Arts, put a ring on it, but first I wanted to show you guys a little um, bit of goodies that I got. Uh, this is not one of the goodies. Um, I did place an order with Make Your Own Wall Art for his new releases of Alien Putty. Last week, if you didn't know, uh, he released two new formulas. One inspired by the holiday season, uh, March and the green and all that good stuff. We got Meowa Lucky Alien Putty. And you guys, this is what it looks like. Believe it or not, I have been using this for the last couple days. Um... You, you can't tell. I mean, it's this will last forever. And then I did get the Miawa Mystery Alien Putty. And this is what that looks like. I have not gotten to test it out, but I think today's a good day. What do you think? So uh, I will be testing this one out today with you guys. And then in the package came a red and green washi tape of thematic with the packaging of... Uh, you know, the putties and he did send along this multi-use pen so this is a ceramic cutting blade on one end and then over here is ah <laughs> it spooked me <laughs> jeez scissors it was like one of those when you pop open a biscuit tin you know it's gonna pop open but it's you still are like eh, when it happens yeah that's what this just did to me but yes, what a handy tool. I love that. I will make use of that today as well if we need to cut back some sections, which we don't because I remember I put cover papers on. Um, but I will get use out of that and kidding up. And then we have some really good, sturdy, solid quality tweezers. These are not murder tweezers per se. They do have a, a blunt. Come on, camera. Don't be, don't be mean. Camera. Do what I tell you. Focus. There. Well, you got it for a second. Sorry. Uh, it's like a blunt squared off tip. It'd be good for placing uh, square drills. Maybe some special drills. Some AB drills. And this cute little gold coin. Um, how cute is that? Four leaf clover for good luck coin. Um, cute little just, you know immersive little trinket you know and then we've got some stickers i believe in the power of love and of course these are lips stickers if you guys didn't know uh, make your own wall art does sell diamond paintings of various kinds but one of his most popular things uh, that he's doing right now is the lips and so of course we get some lip stickers and how cool are these yeah love it Love it. That's going to go in the happy fun sticker time. And then we get this cute, cute little put, put it together, do it yourself, little green, I don't know, can we call it a munchkin? Little green, little green poofkin? Yeah, poofkin. And I think these are probably its eyes that we can put together and have some fun with. I... <laughs> This is adorable. It's like a little green palm and he's got like this little green sash situation and I think this looks like some feet here. No. Little feet. And I don't know. This could probably even yeah, it has a cutout here. I'm gonna have to look and see, but this says like cape to me or something. I don't know. These little eyes. Um something fun to put together and uh do i i, I really just and my, my foremost um thing to do is going to be get eyes on this thing <laughs> love it love it sorry i just wanted to clean that up and then um it did come in this nice green bubble mailer for you know the season yay all right, guys, and so before we full-blown dive in, I want to uh, go over the tools of the trade. Sorry, it's a little dim in here. I already had the lights turned out. <laughs> um, Alexa, please turn on dining room lights. Okay. Okay. 
let's try this again. All right, so before we get started, I wanted to do uh, go over the tools of the trade real quick with you. I'm going to be using this white, blue, and green kind of swirled Timu pen with a plastic tip. Uh, I do like the elbow tip, so we're going to be using that. Um, I felt it kind of matchy matchy with the canvas today. Also, I stole Al's tray. I'm going to be using her tray today. Sorry, I didn't ask. I just did it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to be using her tray to work on um, this canvas because it also kind of goes jivey jivey. Um, I really want to test out this what do we do? We're going all color matchy, guys. So I'm thinking about using the blue putty, but I really want to test this one out. Mm. What to do, what to do, you guys. No, we're going, ah, I'll test this out on a different canvas. I'm sorry. We're going to go old school, original OG alien putty. The blue, it kind of goes with the theme. And this is a sample that I got in my most recent Raven Diamond Art um, AB kit. Heartbeat came, the sample came with all of them. And I figure, you know, that's another thing I can, if somebody gets this sample and doesn't know how to use it, I can maybe show you and, and be somewhat helpful. Um, so we're, and then uh, also I'm going to be using a 140.5 1020 ruler so 1020 slot ruler someone requested that i take the ruler off the canvas they'd, they'd like to see that have it come off and, and reapplied if we get through the section today i will happily oblige you i will do my best um but i uh, i am on a time constraint and i do have bark machines at the ready so um you know i'm hoping to get this section done in this sitting with you guys however i cannot make any promises so what i did is i just took off oops, took off a small little piece too big of a piece actually so if you saw you see this chunk this is actually too much but we'll take care of that um took off a small chunk of the alien putty and i'm using tweezers to shove this in now is this his recommended way of doing it in his tutorials on tiktok i don't think so not a hundred percent it's not. Usually he wants you to cut it in the middle and all that. And that's fine. I, I recommend following his directions. I just, you know, I'm breaking the law, breaking the law. I'm doing, I'm doing it my way. <laughs> it's working out for me so far. And if it doesn't work out for me, then I know I can go to his TikTok and find multiple instructional videos. And that's what I recommend you do if, you know, you're not getting it to work for you or, um, you have some confusion or questions or you want to do it the way it's meant to be done like the you want to apply it to your pen the way the creator of the putty recommends it be applied that's where you go you go to tiktok and you find multiple tiktoks in his little page story i don't know the terms you guys i'm i'm still a social media noob but that's where you go to find out how to apply it the right way. This is the mushy way. It did not involve scissors, which it should have. And it, yeah, I, I do things a little different. And I, like I said, I break the rules. I break the law. I break the alien law. And um, it works for me, but it might not work for you. So if you have any problems, definitely go check out his TikTok for the creator's own instructions on how to do this. Don't always just listen to what you see on the internet. Uh, I, I can't be right all the time. Okay. <laughs> all right, you guys. So here, we're set. Now, Alexa, please turn off dining room lights. Okay. Here we go. So I thought it would be fun to answer some questions from uh, subbies while we do this. Now, oh, got to pull up the sleeves. You know it's getting real when I pull up the sleeves. Now, I did ask on face on our Facebook group. I posted it out there. Hey, you guys, do you have any burning questions for Mushy that Mushy can answer uh, for you in an upcoming whip and chit? Well, here it is. Here's the whip and chit, and we're gonna answer the questions that came in within the time limit. All right. Okay. Let me start 
And I'm going to start down here. Am I in frame? Oh, yeah. I'm totally in frame. There we go. I can even get you closer in frame. How about that? Okay. I'm going to start off with P. I want to get this um, unprotected, undone section um, completed here. So I'm so far away from my from my jars. Here's my P. Here's my P, you guys. <laughs> Jeez. Um, all right. Open it up. Pour some in. Shake it all about. Do the hokey pokey. Uh, I know I, I like to keep my screw on my ephemera tray open. This is kind of just how I generally use a tray. I notice the screw is not open. And I could see myself trying to pour and thinking it's open and just flop. Because my daughter does not use the tray the way I do. So, um, all right, now we're ready. Here we go. Connie asked, do you ever know exactly how many personalities you are married to? <laughs> fair question. <laughs> Very fair question. If only you knew. Oh, oh my gosh. He wanted to be here for this too. I feel kind of bad that I'm doing this well. <laughs> sundown is gone um because he he was ready to sing sort of you know on our trip long car ride you guys it, it's a 12 hour round trip in the car plus doctor time and stuff so oh he had lots of time to use his different character voices on me and fine tune them and whatever uh matter of fact him and Al, he got Al into it too, and they were making fun of me in Shaggy and Scooby voices last night. That was super fun and great because they noticed in my graffiti artist video that uh, I stumbled over the word graffiti in the beginning, and it sounded like I said "gurriri." <laughs> And hell, I don't know. Maybe I did. Gariri. <laughs> See, there it is. That was Al. Uh, courtesy of Sundown. <laughs> Jeez. Um, they were <laughs> making fun of me <laughs> all night last night over it. It was uh, super, super great. Um, a great, great thing to suffer through. That was it on the V's also. What is... <laughs> What is going on with this diamond painting? <laughs> uh, I can't pull myself together. <laughs> oh my gosh. And see, I'm this is the sound of Mushy going crazy. <laughs> um <laughs> and he's not even here. God, thank goodness. It's just Allie, but she's enough. Like She can drive me to the loony bin. They get me to this point where I'm laughing and I literally can't pull myself together to function. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry, Connie. Connie asked if I knew exactly how many personalities I'm married to. There's, um... She said that she's witnessed a few, RG being um, Vanna, like Vanna White, uh, Julia Childs, uh, obviously RG Sundown. Um, she said I don't have to answer that she's just being a smart patootie, but no, I'll answer. <laughs> no, the answer to that question is no, I do not know exactly how many personalities that I'm married to. Um... Very many. I can tell you many. I know there's Shaggy and Scooby. There's Elmo. Uh, there's Rocky and Bullwinkle. There's... <laughs> um, I don't know. There's... But then you've got the everyday ones, you know, just the moods. Like grumpy, happy, silly, goofy, immature, um, business mode, work mode. You know what I mean? You got the regular... Uh, everyday mood personalities but as far as like voice personality yeah, I, I, I fear that it's infinite I I never know when I speak to him or you know call him or ask him a question or we're doing so I never know who's really gonna answer me <laughs> um but yeah 
What other what other personalities does your dad have? Shaggy Scooby. Shaggy Scooby, I got those. Um, Elmo. <laughs> um, Bull, uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Um, can't think of others off the top of my head. He doesn't do very those very often. The, his most often used are the van. He's really good at accents. Those count. Yeah, he's really good at accents too. But he does, um, you know, like the Shaggy and Scooby the most. I would say. And the Elmo uh, the most. But I'm sure there are many, many others lurking. <laughs> um, and no, that's not what it sounds like. That's my daughter getting in the freezer trying to make it sound like I'm breaking wind. I'm not trying to make it sound like anything. I'm hungry. Okay, so next question. Uh, Tanya asks, would you consider a Buddy Diamond painting? Where we all have the same kit and work on it. No rush to when uh, we get it done when we get it done. And obviously post progress pics in the group or show them in the videos, whip and chats. Um, would I, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, that's part of being a community, of course. And that would be something to consider. My, my fear with that would be that I know I, I wouldn't want to exclude anyone who would want to participate. Um, and the, there, everybody has a different situation, time and, um, physical ability, financial ability, stuff like that, where, you know, I, I inevitably, inevitably, I fear that some people would be left out due to circumstances beyond my control. And that would really kind of bum me out to know that, you know, there were people out there that wanted to participate in this thing that, you know, that I was doing and they couldn't, you know, and I couldn't do anything to help, to help or, or, or do anything about it. Um, on that, like on that level, I, I would be hesitant, but on purely the face of it, getting a kit with all of you and diamond painting it all together and comparing progress and talking about, you know, are we having fun? Are we not having fun? What's our favorite part? Not favorite part. You know, all the things, all the things, um, that I would love to do that. I would love to, to be able to, to do that and, and forge that connection with everyone. So yes, that would be, that would be cool. I would consider doing it. Um, just would have to figure out the, the most affordable, best, fairest, most inclusive way to do so. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Anything, anything I can do to, to feel more connected to you guys, I, I'm down, you know, it's part of why I started a channel. I wanted to, to be a part of a community, uh, of like-minded, similar interested individuals and meet some new people and make some new friends. And what better way to do that than work on a diamond painting together? Um, do we need a new, a new, th yeah, we're done. We're done with this one. Next up is the O. There's not too many O's. I mean, I may not even need a tray for that. Yeah. Gosh, this is so confetti heavy that there's a lot of I don't need a tray for that in the, in here, which is um, I don't know if you're confetti haters. The if you're a confetti hater, it's a nightmare. But if you don't mind it, it's uh, okay. And if you love confetti, then this is great. This is like you know, Candyland. You probably hear my stomach grumbling. I'm so sorry. We're we're hungry. It's past uh, meal time. We're gonna have pesto peckers. Pesto pecker pasta for lunch. All right, I challenge you guys. Okay, pause. This is a legit challenge. I challenge each and every one of you, send me a Facebook private message with you saying this tongue twister, whether successful or not. I dare you. You can type it, I'm sure. So like that doesn't count, but please pause for a minute in real life. Try to say this tongue twister as fast as you can and tell me were you able to do it and be honest because um 
you know, I can't. I'm trying and I can't. Uh, Peter picked... Peter picked pesto pecker pasta. Uh, even even take the Peter picked off and just do pesto pecker pasta. Pesto pesto pick pesto pecker pops. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yes, folks, um, I, I, I am sure that this produces the question in some of you, is pecker pasta really a thing? Yes, we do have pecker shaped pasta in our cabinet, which is currently now going to become in our bellies. So we will do be. Do you want the box? <laughs> no. Oh. All right, all right. <laughs> Al wants me to show you guys. It is an actual thing. <laughs> and this is our lunch. That is our lunch, courtesy of Al. <laughs> We're going to be having that with pesto sauce. <laughs> I told her to do um, garlic butter, but she, uh, if you guys, if you know, you know. <laughs> Thought that would be more suitable sauce, but um thematically anyway but no she oh did I pour this I did but she's gonna um did I just put the wrong you guys is this not the same color did I did I foobar I didn't did I well you know what let's find out together the if it's the same color I got distracted. Distracted? Oh my, now I can't talk at all. I tried that tongue twister and words just won't come out at all. Um, I'm looking here to make sure that I did not intermingle colors. It does not appear that I did. Oh, thank you. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I thought I boo-booed and um, ended up putting drills in the wrong, back in the wrong container. I did not. I confirmed. Okay, oh, boy, how to, whew, I, I needed a minute to recover from that one too. So that one was an editing nightmare if anybody was curious. I have, obviously I'm in the moment and I have not edited it, edited it, edited it, edited it yet. But um, yeah, I already know that's going to be an editing nightmare. Also courtesy of Al, thanks a lot. Okay, um, oh, and there goes my stomach, sorry. Wow, it's really talking. Uh, it wants that pecker pasta. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um, what's next? Let's pick a new D. Oh, how fitting. <laughs> We're going to have some D pasta while I do some D drills. <laughs> All right. Um, next question came from Connie. I can't remember which one is your cousin. Is Jason Voorhees a fourth cousin on your mother's side, or is it Michael Myers a fifth cousin? Maybe it was Freddy Krueger twice removed. I get it confused. Um, well, I guess Jason would be somewhere in my family tree, probably. Maybe a fourth cousin. Maybe not as distant as a fourth cousin, because I have him tattooed in on my hand in memoriam. So, um... You know, he must have been someone close to me to get, you know, for me to tattoo. And I think fourth cousin is maybe kind of, kind of making it a little too distant for like a tattoo placement on my, on my body. Um, may, maybe Jason was my first boyfriend, um, little childhood boyfriend. Yep. My first little childhood school crush. That is how I'm related to Jason. Not, fa not he's not family. Let's get that clear. I was, you know, I was not, you know, crushing on a cousin. Um, I was, that's, but that's how that is related. Um, not a cousin. You were mistaken. He was just my childhood crush. And we were boyfriend, girlfriend in kindergarten. Um, I always had fond memories of him. And I think it's tragic how he passed and then all the rumors and alleged um, drama that ensued after his passing and then the, you know, how tabloids and stuff drew, drew his mother into the mix, uh, and, and made her sound like this terrible person and all the, all the whole story, just the whole sad story. Uh, so I have him tattooed here. That's how he comes into play. Now, Michael, um, let's be clear. Michael is not related to me by blood in any way. 
I cannot believe that you would even assert such a thing. I find offense in that because uh, Michael is my horror husband. Um, and I am, I, I know I'm in Arkansas. Okay. I know I'm in Arkansas and like historically some things are more acceptable in the South than others. Um, you know, but no, no, I, I'm not a, a cousin, cousin loving horror hubby having mama. Um, we are not blood related in any way. We did do a DNA test to confirm because I saw the story where, whether it was true or not, I don't know, but where this married couple decided to do like DNA stuff and found out they were brother and sister or something like that. Um, and that, you know, creeps me out. So no, we did do DNA tests just to make absolutely sure that there was no crisscross applesauce on the, on the family tree. And we are in fact not related, and, but we are, um, he is my horror hubby. Yeah, we are s theoretical spouses in that way and, uh, forever intertwined and committed to each other. Um, he is free of course to pursue, other interests. We do have an open horror hubby marriage situation where, um, I am aware of his stalking activities of another woman or women. And, um, I'm okay with that as long as he comes home to me at night. Okay. I hope that cleared that up. As far as Freddie, Freddie is actually one of my cousins. Um, I, I forget where he is on the family tree, third or fourth cousin. Uh, we try, he's kind of hidden. We try not to talk about him too much. You know what I mean? Uh, it's kind of what he did. It was shameful, you know, and uh, karma, you know, you get what you get. You get what you put out there and stuff. So uh, it, it's one of those family secrets that kind of tries to get swept under the rug. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no kind of thing. We don't talk about Freddie. But yeah, he is uh, a cousin of mine. So yeah, um, I, I don't appreciate that you put that out in the public like that after my family has gone through so much shame and hardship and hiding that. Um, and just for that, I might send my cousin Freddie your way one night and teach you a little lesson. Yeah. Cause family does things for family like that. So aren't you glad you asked Connie? Cause now that's what you get. Um, have fun sleeping tonight. Tee <laughs> Okay. Tanya, Hi, hi again, Tanya. Hello. So many questions. Nosy Tanya. Nosy, nosy Tanya. Nosy Connie, too. Connie and Tanya, they were some nosy MFers in this one, weren't you? Yeah, you were. You know you were. You're the one who asked all the questions. You know how many questions you asked. You nosy. Um, let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, you slimy son of a... Oh, I'm going to end up pushing that in. No, chesticles kept the pin from rolling off the table. Thank you. Not only are they good for feeding babies, they are good for catching pins when they try to roll off the table. And crumbs when you're eating. Uh, am I right, ladies? Yep. <laughs> Our own little built-in napkin situation. Okay, got it. Um... Tanya, would you rather watch animation for 12 hours? Oh my gosh. I don't even want to read this. Can I ignore this question? Can I skip this one? Okay. Oh, where was I? Sorry about that. I'm um, having some issues today with my throat, so I apologize. There's probably lots of cuts and pauses and all that stuff in here, but y'all don't need to hear me struggle with that stuff. It's lots of throat malfunction today, so... Uh, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Not a good day for me to pick a talking video. Um, but that's okay. Um, let's see. Ta where were we? Tanya. Oh gosh. That's right. The question I was trying to avoid. <laughs> my whole body reacted. My body just like locked up. My throat locked up. It's like, don't even say these words. <laughs> um, Tanya asked, would you rather watch animation for 12 hours straight? Or diamond paint pink and cutesy kits for the same amount of time animation. I, um, I do have, you guys, I don't understand it. I don't know. Maybe there's some buried, child. I can't even speak, buried childhood trauma or, uh, 
I don't know, uh, I, genetics. I, I, um, I don't know why I can't explain it, but animation cartoons, uh, come on the TV, any kind of animation really come on the screen in front of my eyes. I get grumpy. It, it just triggers me. It triggers me. I can't explain it. There's no real reason why. If you ask me well, what, what specifically about it is it, I do not know. I, I think that I could tolerate the cartoon slash animation situation for 12 hours way more than I could tolerate pink, fluffy, cutesy. Um, you know, again, another one of those things that I don't cannot explain to you what the malfunction is what what is your problem mushy with that I have no answer zero I, it's just something you know that kind of triggers me a little bit <laughs> uh, at least I am aware of it and I realize that it's an irrational reaction and um, you know I, I handle it well I think um, but yeah no I definitely have an aversion to pink and cutesy which it which will become funny at a later point next time I do some more peep my stash as we get into the stash uh you guys will see some stuff and you're gonna be like WTF was she thinking um you know there's a lie here somewhere either mushy likes the cute and fluffy or um and she lied about it or mushy you know was insane something you're you, you're gonna question some things but um I'll explain it as we go through the peep my stash just know that you know uh, I cannot be held responsible for all purchases I have made <laughs> so Connie asks okay seriously lol <laughs> oh good um a great great way to start off seriously though lol okay <laughs> um if you could live anywhere, where and why? Or maybe just visit. Let's do Okay, so if I could live anywhere, where? Um, I don't like hot temperates. Okay, you guys, I'm... You're watching my arm diamond paint. I'm sorry. There you go. Why didn't somebody say something to me? I do not like warm climate. So I definitely, I can tell you where I wouldn't live. I would not live somewhere tropical. No, not in a million years. I like my temperature to be pretty mild. The warmest I think I can comfortably tolerate is probably around 70 degrees. After that, I start getting a little grumpy, grumpy sweaty, unhappy, <laughs> mean. <laughs> Yeah, it makes me, it literally, if I sweat, I get angry. I It just it triggers. Another one of Mushy's triggers. Boy, I'm giving you guys all the, the hot buttons. Um, So it would have to be somewhere with mild temperature. I do not like the sun. Um, uh, somebody opens the, we have blackout curtains throughout the house to keep that bugger out. The, the sunlight and stuff. If somebody opens the front door and I am in the vicinity I hiss literally I'm just like a vampire I'm like <laughs> oh we have a trash drill oh, hold on come here you little sucker there we go we have a little trash drill to put in our trash compartment I'll just set that right there for now um but yeah we I I, I don't I don't do oh I might have needed a tray for this one yeah let's bust out the tray don't like I don't like heat. I don't like the sun. Um, I don't like humidity very much. So um, it would have to be somewhere. I think like the Washington State area would be good for me. Uh, like the Vancouver -y area or up closer by Canada the Canadian border. I think that would be good for me. I think Alaska would probably be really good for me because they do have like that, what, six months of darkness, which would be fantastic. But then you have to turn around and six months of light. Um, I, I'm thinking Washington, maybe Seattle area would be perfect. I do like the, I like the rain. I like the gloomy, cloudy. Uh, I know I said I don't like humidity, but I do like, you know, 
I don't like heat humidity. I, I like rain humidity, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's probably off the top of my head. I, I think I would like Ireland. It's beautiful. It's green. I don't know. Uh, I think they have like, isn't Ireland like in Scotland, that area, like they have fog situations mm -hmm. over there. I would really dig that. Um, the, for the beauty of the area and the scenery alone, I think I would tolerate any sunshine that might come with it because you got to be able to see those emerald green rolling hills once in a while and in all their glory in the sunlight, I guess. But, um, I think they spend a majority of their time kind of in the gloomy, drew, you know, dreary, gloomy, you know, foggy situation. Um, so yeah, I, I think, uh, those would be my choices. The Seattle area, uh, Ireland, Scotland. If they ended up being too bright, we'd turn that into a visit situation. Visit there. That is on my bucket list. I want to take my daughter. She is a, uh, my daughter is legally a, oh <laughs> she's going to get birth. My daughter is legally titled. Um, she could put even on her passport and legal oh documents. Gosh. If she so choose, or chose to, if she so chose to, she could put on her legal documents, Lady, you know, Lady Leah. Um, she does own land in Scotland, and therefore, because she owns land in Scotland, they automatically title her as Lady, and um, that's legal over here. You can put that information on <laughs> documents. So yeah, uh, I ask you guys anytime anyone encounters her in a, in a live chat or video, uh, you know, or comments any, anywhere, anything, please address her by her proper legal title, which is Lady Leah. <laughs> uh, God, she's going to hate me. Um, all right, we got to booby situation here booby yeah sorry i named my symbols this one just struck me boop all right so here we go with the boop um and then tanya added to that real or imaginary oh gosh let's see an imaginary place where would i go i don't i choose willy wonka Willy Wonka, of, of course, you would be that, that, what was her name, Petunia or whatever, Pr Pr Prudence, whatever her name was. I'd be that little boy that drowns in the, the river and gets put in the tube. Yeah, I thought, yeah, drowns in the river of chocolate, gluttonous little snot. <laughs> well, we now know that Leah would choose uh, Willy Wonka's factory to live in with the Oompa Loompas and stuff. <laughs> she wouldn't survive the day, you guys. She would, like, she would suffer the, the fate of, of those children. <laughs> happily. And she said she'd do so happily. Okay. Um, maybe... I know, I know how this is going to sound to some of you. Um, I don't care. Uh, the, maybe the twilight world only because they're up in the Seattle, you know, Washington area. Um, and the climate and stuff is up there. And how cool would it be to see like a sparkly hot dude? <laughs> you just want sundown to be covered in sparkles. I just, yeah, I want sundown to be covered in sparkles when he takes his shirt off and you know, mesmerize me with his, you know, fangs or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't really think of any imaginary place that really speaks to me and entices me. Maybe the Aquaman kind of universe, because hello, Jason Momoa. Get the Um... um yeah, the under being underwater, you don't have to worry about sun so much. It's nice, dark, and cool down there. Uh, gotta worry about sharks though. So I don't know. Um, Outlander might be like a contender, but then again, that's pretty brutal, you know, for for anyone really. But ladies too, and I don't know some of the things they went through in that series. I don't think I would. I don't know if that's a fair trade. Um, 
Thrones. Game of Thrones. Dragons. Dra Are you kidding? Yeah, but some brutal stuff happened in that one, too. I'll uh, take me some Daemon Targaryen and a dragon. I don't care. Ugh, you can have Daemon Targaryen. Um, Jon Snow, though. Mm. Yeah, it might be worth all that, um, all, all the, the things that I could be subjecting myself to in that world might be worth it if in the end I could be assured Jon Snow as my prize. Um, yeah, that's, I can't, I can't really get serious with the imaginary question because I don't have a very good imagination and I can't really think of anything that would appeal too much to me. Um, I hope I don't say your name wrong. I'm going to just like say it how it looks, you know, I, and hope that it's phonetically correct, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Desiree, is that your name? Desiree, that's beautiful. And if it's Desiree and I pronounced it wrong, that's also beautiful. But I, I really like Desiree. Desiree is uh, asking, will we ever get to meet you and sundown face to camera so we can put a face with the hands or the bark machines? All right, let's let's um kind of break that one down. Will you ever meet me face to camera? The obvious quick and simple answer to that would be nope um why mushy i'm sure would be a follow-up question that i'm just gonna nip in the bud right now why i believe it or not i do have a phobia of cameras i i strongly believe that stuff is genetic maybe it was learned uh but i because my mother also has the same phobia of cameras we see a camera come out and literally you would think we were like in nom or something we're we're diving we we see a camera and it triggers a dive hide behind a bush hit the floor you know f face down on the ground hand covering your head you know protect thine self tornadoes coming assume the position that kind of thing yeah we will duck dodge weave hide throw ourselves to the ground, run away, scream, yell, get angry, um, and throw a big hissy fit like a child. Yeah. Uh, it's just, I don't, if I'm being real honest and this is kind of, it is what it is. It's not meant to make anyone or anything feel some type of way. It's just the way it is. I need a Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Pac-Man, where are you? Pac-Man. I can't find there he is. Okay. Found him. Um, I do not like my, I do not like my face. I do not like my me. Uh, I never have. It's a self-esteem thing. And I think that le lends to the camera thing. There are a few pictures of me. There are a few photos of me. If you go to my channel homepage, there should be like a little circle thing with, um, this really ugly woman's picture in it. Uh, and then it says Mushmallow 79 beside it. That's me. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's not live video, but it is a picture. That is me. Um, sorry. If your eyes bleed, I cannot be held responsible or liable for any damage caused to your eyes from viewing a photograph of me. Um, do you do so at your own risk? You're welcome. Uh, there are very few. There are very few pictures of me. I won't... I live with Sundown uh, and Al, and I won't even really send them pictures of myself very often for any reason. Um, there's only, I think, it's sad, but there's only like two, maybe three, less than a handful. We'll say that. There's less than a handful in my daughter's 24 years of life. There's less than a handful of pictures in e existence of her and I together. Um, there are no pictures. There's one. There's one picture in existence of me and my ex-husband together. Um, there are no pictures in existence that I can think of of me and my father together after age, like, I don't know, 10 at best. Um, I just 
since I was since early age I don't like cameras period so the answer the simple and easiest answer to that is no probably not me now what about sundown well I've put I've snuck pictures of him in videos he uh, doesn't does not uh, have the esteem issues or the camera fear that I have so oh he'd be down he has no problems he said sure I asked him when I saw that question I was like would you and he's absolutely why not you know I don't care that's that's I am who I am and you know can't change it and so you don't like it don't look you know <laughs> that's kind of his attitude right um I respect that but I just can't make myself adopt the same attitude. So uh, mine is, I don't like how I look, so I'm not going to subject other people to that. Um, at least I'm going to try to minimize their subjection to that. Um, so sundown, possibly, yeah. I mean, the next peep my stash, if you want me to, I'll put his goofy face right on there and have him say hi. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't mind. Um... And I, I think Leah is probably going to be the same way. I don't think that I would be able to convince her to uh, get on camera face to face. Um, she, she, I mean, they're selfie. She's more open to, you know, pictures and stuff like that. But a uh, live camera and stuff, I don't know. Probably not. Uh, the Bark Machines. You really, was that a serious question? Do you, I've snuck pictures and in, in short, they've, they've appeared, uh, walking through frame, uh, in a couple videos, but I, why would you want to subject yourself to that? And everyone else does where you come on. If I take a camera out there and I'm like, Hey, bark machines, you know, cutesy pootsies, let's get you on camera, do some cool stuff. You know, they're just going to stand there and bark in your face. Why would you want that? What is wrong with you? <laughs> you you even walk in the room with them. Before you even walk in the room with them, they're barking. Why would you want to do that to yourself and your, your fellow subscribers? Girl. Girl. Seriously, though, yeah. Um, I can I can sneak them in on occasion. Most of the time, I think the last one I did where they snuck in I might have edited it it did 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 it, it out uh but this was crazy because I caught I was panning the camera around and didn't realize that boy dog Russ was where he was where he was, oh, was. Oh, oh 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 F a D F a D oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. okay guys that was fun so I learned a few things from this experience one is, um, it is extremely frustrating and infuriating to have your drills spill like that. Uh, that sucked. <laughs> Two is, always keep a pair of tweezers handy for when they spill into a ruler and you need to carefully pick them out so they don't get stuck in the wrong spot. And three is, washi tape has a new use for me. Um, oh, we weren't done with this one either, were we? Nope. Uh, which is picking up drills that have spilled so there's that uh we, we got it under control situation handled oh probably maybe mostly <laughs> i did see another there we go i might have missed a few uh but I, I did what i could i did what i could oh and you know i didn't even go and get the one that i misplaced that led to the knocking um, oh, that one was supposed to go, I don't know which one I misplaced now. It's, it's all blur. So I guess I'll just look at the, at the image at the end and see if I see anything out of place. If not, then it worked and it's fine. Okay. So, um, <laughs> um, yeah, sorry for the, again, for the messy video, you guys, I, it, I had a, a big, a big nasty medical trip that usually leaves me quite impaired um mentally and physically for days after and this is this is what this is what happens <laughs> this is how it is all right so um desiree oh yeah the camera thing 
Yeah, we got me so flustered over the camera question that I like threw drills everywhere. What the heck? Okay, and instead of hitting pause, I stopped the whole video. So here's video part two. Yay! <laughs> All right. Um, I found. I'm just. I keep finding drills that I apparently missed when I was cleaning up my big spill. Okay, so I hope that answered your question, Desiree. <laughs> The short answer, the simple answer was probably not, probably not for personal reasons, um, for me or Allie, but sundown probably, <laughs> um, Tanya, hi again, Tanya, what's your favorite genre of music? I don't, you know, I don't really know that. I, I guess if I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be pop, um, but the maybe 2000s era pop music but um I do favorite bands artists musicians I really like Boyce Avenue um been a fan of his them they whatever I don't know if it's just him or his whole band but been a fan of them for a long time um let's see what other I don't I have a variety, like my playlist, uh, favorites list is like six or 700 strong. I do like a variety. I can tell you that I'm not the biggest fan of country music, though Sundown is doing his darndest to try to convert me into a country music lover. Um, he's having a hard time. I'm coming around a little bit. There's some I will tolerate, but generally I'm not a fan of country I'm not a fan of screamy, hard metal rock. I am not a fan of like Barbara Streisand, Celine Dion, you know, like the, I don't know, the more romantic, uh, almost bordering on opera type, you know what I mean? Like the, the, I like upbeat, uh, fast music generally. Um, Niall Horan. Um, his solo album. I, I was never really a fan of like that One Direction situation, but I really do like Niall Horan as a solo artist. Um, that, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Not to mention his cutie patootie and that Irish accent. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, what a snack. Um, and I can't really say... 80, I like seven, some 70s, some, some 80s music, a lot of 90s music, and quite a bit of 2000s music. And then after that, it's just kind of, I do like Justin Timberlake stuff, half, half. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a mix. I do like Ninja Sex Party. I do like their stuff and Star Bomb. Same, same people, sort of, like uh, at least one of the guys is the same in both bands. Starbomb. Okay, yeah, so definitely check out Starbomb if you have a sense of humor and you like video games. Absolutely check them out. Um, and if you like cover music uh, from like the 80s, 90s, 2000s, the more serious stuff is Ninja Sex Party and that's, um, but again kind of need to have a sense of humor with them sometimes too but those would be the ones that I am excited like go check them out <laughs> uh that I I will literally shush everyone to hear when they come on um Tammy hi Tammy what is your most favorite diamond painting that you have completed likewise one that I have not completed uh, the most favorite diamond painting I have that I have completed for the image that it is would have to be my diamond painting of Jensen. I'll insert a picture here if I remember. <laughs> uh, my puppy soulmate who passed from cancer. Um, you. I need to find a you. As far as one that has not been done yet, I, mean, I don't know that I have a favorite. Like, I can tell you what has quickly become a favorite that I didn't expect to. That was the last two I did, the Mickey Mouse. I didn't, I was like, that's going to be cool and all, but I didn't expect it to hit like favorite status. And it did. 
And then the that skeleton couple that I did for the Love is in the Air, also one of those ones that snuck up and surprised me where I was like, I really, really like this image. It speaks to me, but, you know, it's really, yeah, I don't know if it's going to turn out and it really depends on how it turns out and whether I'm a light. And it's, it snuck up and ninja bit me as a, as a favorite. So I really don't know, um, what. I don't have one that pops into my head that I'm just like, oh, I, I want to do this. It's going to be my favorite. I, I, I don't. I, I like so many and I'm excited to do so many. That's kind of the problem with diamond painting, right? For most of us is that, you know, we buy more canvases than we can do. And, you know, it's not like we buy one, do it, buy one, do it. We're like, bye, 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 bye. And then do, do. Bye, 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 do, 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 bye, 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 yeah, <laughs> um, you know, so that's part of the problem is I have so many that I, I guess I'm, I think one that's going to be one of my favorites is Captive Fairy by Craftably, I don't remember the artist's name, but Craftably came out with it, um, and it's called Captive Fairy, I think that's going to be a Ninja Surprise favorite, it's kind of a, a bondage fairy situation um yeah that might be one uh, good question um god now i'm gonna be thinking about that all day thanks <laughs> javine is it javine or is it like hubbing you know what i mean like is the j silent or what am i on you i'm trying to put the wrong things down uh, or is it pronounced? I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. I'm going to go with Javine, um, much like Javier, you know, uh, and if I'm wrong, you can just correct me and I'm sorry. Um, but Javine asked, would you ever consider taking on a challenge of working a heaven and earth cross stitch conversion project if the image was something you loved and not available anywhere else? Well, fun fact, fun fact. Uh, I have been thinking about this, uh, doing a cross stitch conversion project. I have talked it over with my daughter. She's actually working on a cross stitch conversion. Uh, it's I think from cross stitch to crochet and enjoying that. Uh, yeah, I, I would like to do that. That is something I would absolutely like to do, but it would have to be element OP Q R S T U. Okay. I can alphabet. Eee. <laughs> it would have to be something that I really enjoy. Um, but it's something I'm interested in doing. So, uh, absolutely. Um, T let me get focused here. Oh, the next one. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy, I bet you didn't think I was actually going to put this in a video, huh? Huh, Mr. Wolfman? Okay, well here it comes. Tyler, Wolfman Crab Arms, <laughs> Kit Kat Patty Wax Mr. And uh, those of you, some of you may know her as Cass or Cassandra. Cassandra, God, see, I know she tried to, t I know it's, it's, the, however fancy French people say Cassandra, Cassandra, <laughs> sorry Cass that's why I just call you Cass because otherwise I'll butcher it with my my stupid uh, American tongue um, Tyler asks what's the sweet spot 4 inches, 5 inches 6 inches 7 trays of course length of trays he's referring to <laughs> Uh, well, my initial answer before I saw the, the trays designation, I was thinking a good solid six or six and a half. Um, but as far as trays are concerned, um, yeah, sundown length. <laughs> yeah, I like the, the length of the trays, the totem trays. I think that's a great length, um, personally if we're gonna get serious and talk about tray length I do like that uh, I do like that length I like shorter ones too um like more square ones also versus elongated but 
what the tray that that it, even the totem with being half storage half usable space here we go sorry there you go even this length here is fine with me i wouldn't even mind if like a tray you had a tray and it cut off right there that'd be fine if the whole tray was all active drill space that'd be a good length too you get much like longer than this mm, i don't know for me personally um but yeah this this is like perfect and and shorter this and shorter now that little barbie that little barbie tray you sent me don't play around that 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 one was not long enough obviously so smart butt now i saw what you did there sweet spot six and a half be jealous all right <laughs> six and a half all right uh tanya hi again tanya asked in a horror movie scenario would you be the first victim let's go with that first would i be the first you know that i'm going to tell you the truth the truth of the matter on that is it really frankly depends it really depends on the day to be honest if it's a day like today oh yeah i'm, I'm the first one to go i do not have good control of my 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 verbal skills my brain is mush and my hand-eye coordination is terrible but if it's a good day um i would not be the first victim no no no, no. i i i am um, i am hyper alert and hyper aware i hear every sound everything i know everything going on in and around my house outside my house generally speaking it would have to be probably a ninja surprise attack uh, to perhaps make me the first victim. It, it wouldn't be one of those. I saw a dead body on the way. Oh, I guess that would make me not the first victim. Um, it wouldn't, it, you know, if, if the killer tried to play with me first, you know, like mess with my head. No, I would not be the first victim. But if it was like ghost face where everybody's like, la la la, you know, nobody knows anything's going on. There's been no red flags yet. Blah. He pops out of the closet and stabs me. Yeah. I, I am a slow reactor that way. So, um, in that scenario, yes, I would be the first to go. But if it's, uh, if it's, you know, like Michael Jason, you know, stuff like, no, no, I would not. Um, would you be the first victim or the final one? Thing? I would not. I, I don't know. that. I don't know. I mean, I honestly don't know if I'd be the last one standing. Um, I can be resourceful in emergencies. You know, I can band-aid emergency situations to get us through until we're, you know, in a, in a place trash drill crap in a place you know where we can regroup and stuff i can get i'm good at that i'm resourceful like that um but be as far as being the last one standing again it kind of depends on the killer or the situation the day i don't think so i don't think i would be the last one standing um i mean maybe i used to be a a scrappy a scrappy youngin I, I can fight uh, if, I, if necessary if if it came down to like you know me and my daughter or I mean like if if I would be the last one standing or at least try if my family was threatened you know killers chasing my daughter uh yeah I'm gonna go jump in front of that blade and fight uh to give her a chance to escape I would prefer she be the last one standing um, I would sacrifice myself, but I, I would definitely fight to give her time. So in that respect, you know, but if family's not involved, F, sorry, but F you guys, I'm, <laughs> I love y'all. I don't mean it personal, but no, I'm going to fight for my life. <laughs> uh, no, um, no, seriously, probably not, probably not the last one. Uh, unless it's like a mind like something that that I can like think my way out of and have time to think my way out of I don't know um, I would I defeat the killer uh, I would certainly try I would certainly try if it's a zombie then all bets are off because I'm scared to death of coming face to face with something like that and I would probably just freeze and um, be immobile and get eaten 
Um, good question though. Same scenario where would sundown and owl fit in? Um, you know, again, it depends on who's in the scenario. If I know, um, sundown would not be the final survivor. If Al and I were in danger, he would give his life to protect us. Um, <laughs> Al would probably end up being the final survivor only because she is just like, <laughs> F-U-B's, I'm out. <laughs> she, she would trip us just, <laughs> she, we're all running from the killer. That girl would absolutely trip her own mother and father and get them down to the ground and <laughs> easy target so that she could get away. <laughs> um... Seriously, though, she is very clumsy, uh, very dis... Or is it dis? No, uncoordinated. She's very uncoordinated, so I can't see her making it to the end either. But then again, she is pretty brutal and, and um, you know, we all have high, pretty high pain tolerances. So if we did get injured or hurt, uh, we'd be able to fight through that for a while. Um that's a really good question. Sundown and I were discussing it on the trip and we couldn't really come up with a, a conclusion either. He, I asked him, I'm like, would you be the final one standing? He's like, oh, heck yeah. And I was like, okay, tough guy. <laughs> so if you ask Sundown, then yeah, he'd be the last one standing. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... Joe Cole. Hi again, Joel. Wait, see, I have it here as Joe, and then other where I had Joel. But your name's Joe. I've seen you on Facebook. It's Joe, right? Joe, Joel, Joe. Now I'm even getting confused, because I didn't type any of this. Like, I just cut and paste, or copy and paste. So how an L got on? Am I... Do you have, do you have a, a name twinsy in there? I I don't know. I, sorry if I got your name wrong in either of these two instances, but like, okay, Joe. <laughs> Um, Joe Cole, what would be your dream diamond painting canvas? My dream diamond painting canvas. Um, do I have one? Um, you know what? I think I do. I think, I mean, if we're talking like even maybe unrealistic expectations, uh, or unrealistic scenarios, I think my dream canvas would be one of those kind of killer collages that we often see, but massive. I'm talking massive. One that's big enough to include at least, you know, two dozen or so of the mainstream big, you know, recognizable, easily recognizable, identifiable people, um, survivors and or killers, maybe one of each, like a, a diamond painting of each. Um, but on a massive scale, something similar to, uh, what is this one over here? 140 centimeters by 105 is the biggest canvas I, I currently own. Um, sure they come bigger, maybe I just haven't seen it, but something at least that big or bigger so that we could get vibrant, like almost wall mural size. So we could get clear, you know, defined, characters and images and not you know stretched or squished or blurry or terribly rendered you know but get all of them in there I'd like a, a killer one and a uh, survivor one maybe with like Lori Strode and um, what was her name gosh darn it Sydney Sydney Prescott you know people like that easily identifiable survivors from the movies that, I think that'd be a good dream diamond painting right yeah it's not bad but I don't know I'm not creative I can't really I can't really come up with anything better <laughs> what about you what about you Mr. Cole <laughs> what's your dream diamond painting um but yeah, you guys, uh, that is all the questions I had. And boy, we, this has been quite quite an adventure, what you have and some even some things you haven't seen when I had to pause and stuff I've had to clip out. Um, 
but yeah this is that's it I think we're gonna have to be done but I did promise a viewer that I would at least you know and I could not get the section done obviously but is it the end of the world if I take this ruler off now and just freehand the rest no besides my ruler if you can see here is ripped and it's kind of bent a little bit um it's headed for the graveyard and I have a replacement so I don't mind taking this one off um, so what I'm gonna do here I normally would have like this little steamroller like this roller thing um, to to use but I didn't bring it in so oops I'm just gonna press the drills down quite firmly I'm not trying to hurt my light board or anything but I just want to kind of get any initial drills that maybe didn't snap into place and then I'm going to slide my, see, I, this is over here at the broken part and it, it's not wanting to stay. There we go. Then I'm going to grab the border of it. I'm going to hold down my diamond painting. Some of the, some of the drills are going to come up with it. That's just usually a sizing situation where the drill is just, you know, a little oversized and catches on the frame of the, of the, uh, ruler and this ruler in particular is really bad about you know the drills coming up with it but it's not the end of the world you just I, did, I take tweezers or my pen and I just as I'm pulling up the ruler I just plunk them down back down in there it's not the end of the world and you know the, the little extra effort that sometimes you have to go through not all rulers do this by the way it's this these bigger bigger ones in particular uh, with no gap in, in between the slots um, that do this most often in my opinion, you know, my experience. But um, this is a little extra effort, yes. But to me personally, it is worth it to have these straight lines because my, my OCD orderly brain will see, you know, if I freehand where they're not perfectly straight. And I think I would spend more time trying to make them perfectly straight freehanding than, um, you know, enjoying the process. And then, it, and I'd spend more time than it takes just to peel up a ruler and plunk them back down if they happen to pull up. Does that make sense? So there you go. Um, Subby, I, I forget your name and I am terribly sorry. Please don't be mad at me. It's not personal. Um, I just, my memory is poo poo. But I do, did remember that you wanted to see me take this ruler off of this canvas specifically. So there you, there you go. I did it just for you. And I'm going to have probably send this one to the graveyard soon. It's warped. If you can see, like, it it bows. It's warped. It's ripped. It do, It is still usable. As you saw, I was using it. So I'm going to use it, like, till the wheels fall off, as they say. But um, I do have a replacement from Shein. So, all right, you guys, well, that's it. I answered some of your questions. Um, I had a lot of fun. This was a really fun one. We'll have to do it again sometime. Hey, see, all you get was my finger. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we'll definitely have to do this again sometime. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Um, do you feel compelled to answer any of the questions that were asked of me? Leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your answers. And I guess that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me and whipping and chitting, chatting. Time for me to go get some of that pecker pasta. <laughs> Bye. Stay naughty. Mm -hmm.